What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Haunted Forest, and it would turn out that there is one particular exit or entrance that we can't go through, but we did pick up the card key, so that must mean that we can go back in here into the warehouse and actually pick up some items that we need to get. Um, if you guys haven't I watched it in the last two episodes. We actually went to the warehouse and we took care of business right here with Team Rocket. Now, a little bit of a disappointing fact, uh, Giovanni just quit. Like, quit. Literally quit just because he he's already dealt with us before. So now that we have the card key, we can open up this place and grab some items that we probably need, hopefully. And I'm thinking that maybe the self scope is in here. Talk to this lady. Wow! That event was sure a nightmare. You want to get rid of yours? Take this. We get ourselves a TM42, which is a Dream Eater attack. It's only well, it only works with a Pokemon that you know is asleep. So that right there is one of them. And well, we're gonna have to go upstairs. There is an area right here where there are some items that we need to retrieve. So let's see. Maybe there's a Silph Skull right here. Okay. So the card key has opened. Grab this. God dang it. Okay, so... Obviously, we need to, uh... Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> wow, okay. Maybe... Let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? I don't need ice heals right now, so... Threw away the ice heals, grab this, and we found ourselves a trade stone, which will help a Pokemon evolve. Let's see, hold on. Trade Stone. Trade Stone will it will definitely work for Ultra Psycho since it is a Pokemon that evolves through a Trade Stone. So I'm gonna keep that just in case. Ah, oh, damn! I really, 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 really hate the limited uh you know the limited amount of space that we have on here. I do not want to. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's get let's get rid of the paral paralysis heal for right now. And we found ourselves a red amulet that also works for evol evolutions and stuff. So those are two items that we got. And I'm just making sure that I'm covering all my bases right here. Let's see. Manager, make sure to visit the main building located in Saffron City, Kanto. Okay. Okay, so we... Yeah, we got ourselves uh, quite a few items right there that we needed. Off screen, I'm gonna go back to the town and see what we can do right here, guys, because we still need to figure out a few things, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so it looks like to me that we're gonna have to continue on our adventure right here. I don't necessarily know what to do next. Um, it looks like to me that we might have to go to another town, maybe, to find what we need. And, wow, what can we find in here? Obviously, we can find onyxes and stuff. Yeah, don't need to mess. Don't need to take on these guys right here. So, let's see. I am going to be checking this whole location mainly because, well, you can actually find some cool Pokemon right here, like, you know, Cubone and whatnot. So, let's go right ahead and go with a little bit of a super repel right here now. I kind of have a feeling that this place right here is kind of like the Cerulean Cave. So, let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can find something good. Let's see. It sounds like Cerulean Cave. Good gravy, okay. And there are Pokemon trainers right here, so... Let's see. <laughs> I love the Dynamite Down. Okay, so these are construction workers. Apparently this place is going to be uh, reconstructed and we have to start a building high speed railway to Naljo, Naljo or whatever it is. So these are not trainers and this guy right here is like this shiny red orb I found while blowing the rocks up is mine. Mine. Oh wait, that's bad karma. I have to be a nice person, right? Fine. I'll be a good Buddhist and give this to you to gain good karma. And we get ourselves a red orb. Come on, Karma, help me out. So we get ourselves a red orb, and I do believe that you can actually use a red orb to evolve a specific Pokemon right here. So, I guess, look at that, a Dawn fan. 
Okay, so we're we're looking into some pretty good ground type Pokemon right here. I I, I think that's what's I think that the, that's the deal right there. So we're gonna be finding some pretty interesting Pokemon. Uh, oh wow, not to. Okay, so it looks like that we're we're starting to see some uh, some Johto Pokemon right here that we probably need, probably want, kind of maybe want to use not to since you know. It is right there, but I do have Ultra Psycho with me. Huh. I'm gonna have to think this through right here. So, yes, we're gonna get attacked by uh, lots of Pokemon. Look at that. Natu. Hmm. Natu's a pretty good Pokemon, but I do not want to battle. I don't know. I don't want to capture it just yet. So, let's just use a Super Repel, get the F out, and go into the next town right here. Now, again, I'm trying to figure out how to maneuver myself through the the cave or the the haunted forest we might have to wait until the next town and whatnot so let's go right ahead and see what we can do right here now here we are going into the next town we need a Pokemon that knows cut luckily we do and that is a good old shroomer right here and here we are let's see what does it say route 58 to Botan City Castro Valley and it looks like to me we're gonna start battling some trainers right here. So, I, I wait. Hold on. Oh, you want to battle me? Da da da. Okay. Oh, so these are optional battles right here. Hmm. Okay. So here we go. Junior trainer coming out with a Raticade. and well, I guess we're gonna be battling some Pokemon trainers right now. So anywho, guys. Uh, yeah. Holy crud. He, like for me it has been an adventure just learning about this place uh, again I've never played this game before I really have not um, I've had this game in mind for quite some time and I don't know just because just because now I can manage my whole schedule correctly it's it seemed like the appropriate time just because well you know we're probably we're probably getting out of the pandemic pretty soon right here or we're not really out of the pandemic, but it's more of like it's a little more eased up. And look at that, level 32, Sunny. You know, you guys, what you you know what that means? Alrighty, and Sunny is finally evolving. Look at that. Okay, here we go, Sunny. Say hello to Venusaur. Okay, got ourselves a Venusaur. Okay, so let's see. This guy, let's see, I'm bored, so let's battle, okay? Alright. But like I was saying, guys, I've never played this game, and, you know, it just, it, for me, it's more of, for me, it's more of like, you know, I've wanted to attempt this game for quite some time, and because I now have a little bit more time on my schedule, where I can manage my shit right, you know, it's probably, it's, 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 it's you know, it's the best time now to actually get this game out, as well as the other ha uh, hack walkthroughs that I, you know that I uh, that I came out with, and look at that, level 28. Okay, alrighty, and yeah, it's the best time to actually do all this. And it looks like to me we are going to be going through a an area filled with lots of new Pokemon right here. Hold on, I'm gonna waste my repel and see what we can find right here because. If we are in a place where we can find some new Pokemon, then I am definitely going to start... Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to start playing with the idea of, like, switching up my team. And, well, we've already got this Pokemon right here, Bellsprout. We could use this as Sir Razor, but I already got it. And, well, let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Do that. Nope, we're going up against an Otis. Good gravy. Okay, alrighty, so let's move on. Now, these guys are up for a battle right here. Stop and battle me. Okay, let's get it. Going up against a Pidgey trainer, and... You know, one thing's for sure, I am going to need an Electric-type Pokemon. I do have an Electric-type move that we can use, but... Do not want to waste it on the wrong Pokemon. I think I can actually buy it at the... At another location, it's just I'm uh, just I just want to see where like if I can and oh uh, damn okay let's go ultra psycho I'm gonna drink some water while this is happening oh 
Oh yeah, definitely thirsty. Okay. Let's go right ahead and use a side beam attack. And that hits it pretty well, so here comes a gust. And well, let's go ahead one more time. There we go. And Ultra Psycho is kicking some butt right here. Here he comes out with a Chin Chow. Now this is new. Quadruple damage probably. Because it's both a water and electric type. And well, here goes a Razor Leaf. Alrighty. Let's go. Chin Chow defeated. Say goodbye. I'm feeling good about that. Alrighty, so that didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. Here we go with another trainer. Let me interrupt you. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is uh, the route near Vermilion City where these two trainers were talking. Because he just said it right there. Let me interrupt you. Alright. Flamethrower. For the win. There we go. And Nidorino here focusing its energy. Let's go with a fire punch. Oh, yes. Fire punch does its thing. And there's a more boosted in it. Well, look at that master growth to level 32, which is great. And here it comes out with a Doug Trio. Let's go straight to Sunny right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's go straight for a razor leaf attack. And well, this guy's cutting our accuracy short. But we still get this. There we go. And that was a super effective move right there. Good, good. It worked. Yes, okay. And wait, hold on. Stop bugging me for no reason. Okay, I don't know what your problem is, but... Here we are in the next town, and yes, this happens to be the Vermilion City kind of switch off. And well, to me, there it is, the Pokemon Center. And Castro Valley, okay. So, this is the location of the next gym battle, guys. I don't know what's going to happen, but stay tuned. In the next episode, we got a lot to go through. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.